The Torah counts the tribes and the families of the nation of Israel. In particular, we read about the tribe of Benjamin. They had 45,600 members to its tribe, whereas the tribe of Dan had 64,400 people. Quite a large difference. But here's where it gets more interesting. Benjamin had 10 sons. Dan had one son, Chushim, who was in fact deaf. That one child who was deaf built up a bigger tribe than Benjamin, who had 10 sons. What this shows us is that when God wants to bless us, He can do that. Even if initially it looks like I have less than the other, God can create blessings when He chooses to do so. The same can be said with wealth and physical possessions too. We often think about ourselves and we say, if I have less than someone else, someone else then I'm less blessed than them. But it's not the case. Because what I have comes with happiness and health and contentment. And the other who has more doesn't have that. So is that really a blessing? The Mishnah says, Ezehu Ashir, who is a wealthy man? And the answer is, Hasameach Bechalkoi, someone who's happy and content with their lot. What does it mean to be happy and content? It means to realize that whatever I have is a source of blessing. Whatever I have is what God wants me to have, and He can bring me blessings, even if initially it doesn't look that way. So let us count our blessings, and let us realize that ultimately it's all in the hands of God, and He can create miracles. He can even produce a bigger tribe with one child than the other tribe of ten children. Shabbat Shalom.